for the Mount Beacon Incline Railway Society. The next step is restoring the historic railway. They need a big fundraising initiative. The Society honored volunteers at its holiday gathering in Beacon Thursday night, reviewed the year's efforts, and looked ahead to 2013. The mission of the group, restore the 1902 funicular or cable-operated railway that carried visitors up and back down the very steep side of Mount Beacon. Atop the mountain during the day, they'd stroll about, visit the hotel or casino. For the future, promoters say the railway would provide hikers with access to miles of mountaintop trails and Americans with limited mobility would have access to the scenic views and a rare mountaintop experience as well. This year, the Society developed site plans with the property's owner, Scenic Hudson. We're trying to rebuild a National Historic Register property, a funicular railway that goes up and down Mountain Beacon. It will cost about $20 million to rebuild, but that reconstruction will generate 480 jobs in the Mid-Hudson Valley, and it will generate $30 million of economic activity annually. Now, for 2013, Colarusso says the focus will be on making the case for raising that $20 million. He says the society has hired top-notch fundraising consultants to help with this critical part of the railway restoration. Moving forward, uh, the main focus of the Incline Society is to increase its organizational capacity, particularly in the area of development and fundraising. There are so many worthy charities in the region that people donate to, and we have to make a powerful case for support to people so that they understand the, the benefits, both economic and cultural, that this National Historic Register property can deliver once it's restored. And during the year, volunteers will continue to lead hikes up the mountain, explaining the history of the railway. And there's more for you at inclinerailway.org. Now, here's Christine Conti with our news from across the state.